Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, I got an email from Ethiopia from one of our followers on, uh, and just they love our channel out there, and uh, we really appreciate that very much. But this email was very, very, very informative, and I'd like to share it with you without revealing our source here. It says, greetings, Pastor Paul. I'm a huge follower of yours, and I like your channel on YouTube. Awesome. Uh, I want to give you an information about Ethiopia's current situation. Uh, about two months ago, and it, it's actually it was on July 7th, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, came to Ethiopia for an official state visit. His uh, visit was about how to use the River Nile and, and uh, to swing it away from Egypt, basically. Uh, and uh, anyway, Egypt certainly is not happy about this visit. What's he referring to? I'll share it in a minute in one scripture in the Bible. But after a month of, of official visit of the Prime Minister, we have heard some more news that Israel is about to build the third temple. Now, we've heard this, folks. You all know this is, I've been a personal friends now with, of course, Rabbi Yehuda Glick, and I've been to, I've interviewed him three times in Jerusalem, and the last time at his office in the Knesset, so you know that this push to build the third temple is absolutely real, okay, real. Matter of fact, on the 9th of Av, a couple of days ago, uh, Rabbi Yehuda Glick and other prominent rabbis and thousands of people, Jews, marched around the old city and then uh, began to chant, it is time to build the temple. It is time to build the temple. And of course, then the Muslims got upset and there was rioting that went on up on the Temple Mount on the 9th of Av. And seven Israelis were arrested for praying on the Temple Mount. Fifteen Palestinians were injured for clashing with police. This is happening. There's no question. There's even been meetings between prominent Jewish rabbis and Muslim imams on how to work out some kind of an arrangement to build a modified Solomon Temple, smaller, without an outer court, just like it says in Revelation 11, and still leave the two mosques up on the Temple Mount. This is in discussion, believe me. Well, here's what this person says to me who sends the email. It says, so anyway, uh, but after a month of this official visit, uh, we heard that Israel is about to build the third temple. What is the coincidence? I don't know. But keep in mind that the Ark of the Covenant is believed by some to be still here in Ethiopia uh, in that small little temple they, that's been supposedly protecting it. So was Benjamin Netanyahu here to talk about the River Nile and the Renaissance Dam? which would swing the River Nile away from Egypt? Or was he here also to talk about the Ark of the Covenant and to convince the Ethiopian Orthodox Church to hand over the Ark of the Covenant to Israel for the building of the Third Temple? This man believes that's the case, and that's the rumor on the ground. Finally, Ethiopia is under serious turmoil here. The government is killing innocent civilians in Gondir, uh, Bahar Dar, and also parts of Ormona regions. So far, 800 civilians have been killed by snipers. Here's the next part. So please, Pastor, pray for us because uh, uh, the situation that's taking place there. Now, when we, we'll talk about the Ark of the Covenant in just a second, but can I read for you a prophecy? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, it talks about the burden of Egypt, which I believe took place during the uh, Arab Spring in the early spring of 2011 when the uh, Arab Spring took off and Hosea Mubarak was overthrown by Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. They both called for his overthrow, even though he had been a faithful friend of America for 32 years and had kept the peace agreement with Israel for 32 years that was signed by Jimmy Carter, Menachem Begin, and Anwar Sadat. It didn't matter. Obama wanted him out. He wanted the Muslim Brotherhood in, which is what happened. They overthrew Mubarak, and uh, Mohammed Mursi took over Egypt. 
and you can read these first five verses, it tells you exactly what took place during that Arab Spring. But for the sake of this video, instead of me re going through that, it'd be quite lengthy, I just want to read verse 6. It says, uh, and I'll read verse 4 first. It says, The Egyptians will I give over to the hand of a cruel lord, a fierce king. He shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Now that was Muhammad Mercy, and he tried to turn Egypt back into Sharia law. Christians were crucified and murdered. Churches were burnt to the ground. And the waters shall fail from the sea, and the river shall be wasted and dried up. Well, the river Nile has shrunk 80% in the last eight years. And I've looked at Jeep, uh, Google map uh, pictures of the Nile eight years ago and now, and it's unbelievable how it has shrunken in this uh, period of time. Verse six says this, and they shall turn the rivers far away and the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up and the reeds and the flags shall wither. What's that mean? They shall turn the rivers far away. Well, they, are, they have built a brand new dam called the Renaissance Dam. It's built by the Italians on the River Nile in Ethiopia. And now they're getting ready to turn the water away and just leave a very small trickle to go into Egypt. And the rest of the water will flow into five African nations. Uh, Ethiopia, the Sudan, uh, I believe uh, Kenya gets part of that. Um, there's five African nations that will benefit greatly by the turning away of the river from Egypt. Egypt is being cursed by this prophecy because um, of the things that they have done turning to idol gods and their pagan worship. And you can read this in Isaiah chapter 19. Well, Never, when you read a verse like that, and the river shall be turned away, it's like, how do you turn a river away? Well, you do it with a dam, and it's been built. So, was Benjamin Netanyahu was there, he was meeting with the Ethiopian. Matter of fact, I have a press release here. He met with the press on July 7th, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and I'll put these links down below. Uh, he met July, uh, July 7th. He began his visit to Ethiopia. He was welcomed at the National Palace by the Ethiopian Prime Minister, along with honored guards and national anthems. The two prime ministers held a private meeting followed by an expanded meeting with their delegations. The delegations discussed ways to increase bilateral cooperation on a long series of issues, including the water that's, and agriculture. That's because of the Renaissance Dam turning the River Nile away from Egypt and communication and tourism and education. Agreements were signed in science, technology, and tourism. The question is the tourism. Is it possible that there was a signed agreement between Benjamin Netanyahu and the Prime Minister of Ethiopia and not to, to not only, yes, go ahead, you can turn the river away from Egypt and we'll protect you for that. And also, let's share some science and technology and tourism and the greatest tourism you could do between both countries would be to of course if they have the ark of the covenant send it to israel and let it be used to put into the new third temple now ron wyatt said he saw what he believed was the broken ark of the covenant down in the down deep in mount uh, or at golgotha where christ was crucified that's what he reported he saw. Uh, other prominent rabbis say, no, it is in the tunnels, secret tunnels under Mount Moriah, under the Temple Mount, okay? And now there's also, there's some who say, no, 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 because there's a lot of Ethiopian Jews. Matter of fact, thousands of them want to come to Israel, and Israel is letting a few at a time. So folks, this is definitely a prophecy alert. Did Benjamin Netanyahu, strike a deal or has he signed a deal that included the sending of the third temple, excuse me, the Ark of the Covenant to Israel for the third temple. Then there's one more rumor on the Ark of the Covenant. And, and I'm not Indiana Jones here, okay? <laughs> I'm Indiana Paul Begley. But that, that Queen Elizabeth 
had sent a delegation to Ethiopia about two years ago. And there's rumors she brought the Ark of the Covenant out of Ethiopia and has it hidden under Buckingham Palace to be used for the third temple in Israel. Uh, I really don't think that's the case. Uh, the, the three options on the table are Ron Wyatt's theory, the, the theory that the temple, that the Ark of the Covenant is under the Temple Mount, and the theory that it is in Ethiopia. And then again, there's always the fact that it's lost, all right? But I don't think so. I was told personally from some folks there in Israel that it is definitely not lost and that leading rabbis know exactly where it is. It will be used for the third temple. All right, I'm going to leave this with you. Prophecy alert, big time. Benjamin Netanyahu's trip to Ethiopia, is it all about the water or is it about the Ark of the Covenant? I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. God bless.